Hey, I'm Sharon from Excel at Work where we offer straightforward non-technical assistance to help you save time, work smarter and improve your Microsoft Office skills. Right, let's talk about how we can remove hash div errors from your worksheet. Okay, we have one here. I'm just going to double click on it. Now, the reason you get your hash div errors is because you're dividing a cell by zero. Here you can see we're taking the 125 and dividing it by A6, which is empty. And Excel sees an empty cell as being zero, or it evaluates it as being zero. So B6 divided by zero will, in fact, give you a div error in your worksheet. And you may have already realized that if you have other cells that are relying on the cell or using it in a formula, you're going to have that div error flow all the way through into other parts of your worksheet, all the way down to even our sum down here. Now, thankfully, it's actually an easy fix. So I'm going to come over here to our div error here, and I'm going to place my insertion point past the equal sign up here. I'm going to call and use the if error function. Now, what this does is it allows you to hide an error in your workbook. Now, all I need to do here is put a comma, double quote marks twice, and close my brackets. And what we're saying to Excel is use the if error function to check if there is an error when I try my division formula here. Now, if there is an error, can you please leave the cell as blank? That's what the double quote marks mean. I'm pressing my Enter key, and look at that, I now have a blank cell. But if you've tried this and you've had a problem where you've got this hashtag value over here now, what's happening is Excel's now seeing this cell as text and now we have a problem over here. And all we need to do is wrap that if error function around the outside of here again and we can just come over here, double quote marks and look, we now have hidden our errors and our formulas are working. So good, right? So not only can they be distracting when you've got your errors, I'm just doing an undo here. They can look a little distracting on the worksheet. They also can cause all kinds of problems. So using our if error function, we have now managed to remove them. Right, let's look down here. If I came down here now and I was working out what percentage of my actual sales is against my sales target, then I can easily write my little calculation here. And of course, I'm dividing the actual into my target. If I come across now and copy that, again, I have a problem because I have an empty cell up here. Now I would get this even if I had a zero up here, I'd still have the same problem. So we can write this a different way. We can use the if function. So I can come up here and I can say if, open bracket, E12 equals an empty cell, then leave the cell empty. So there's our double quote marks again. Otherwise, go ahead and perform the division. Closing my bracket, pressing enter, and look at that. Now that works, but if I come up here now and type a zero, we're right back where we started. So let's come down here, and we're now going to use an if or function. So we're going to nest the or function inside of the if function. So we can say or, and we're going to leave the first option here, comma, and we're now going to say E12 equals zero, close bracket. And what we're saying there is if it's either one of these options in E12, then make sure you leave it empty. Otherwise, go ahead and do the division. Right, pressing enter now, and you can see we're good as gold. Come up here, empty the cell, and we're still fine. And the great thing is, should I copy this across, the calculation will work. So, using the if or together, we have both options covered. Right, let's scoot down our worksheet here. Right, I'm just going to copy the formula that's next door across, and you'll see that it's an average. Now, we're returning a hash div error here because we are creating an average over empty cells. And of course, what an average does, it will total the values inside of a range and then divide it by the number of values inside of a range. And of course, there are no values, so we're going to be, again, dividing by zero. So that's why we have our hash div error again. But once again, the fantastic if error function can work for us around this. So if I come up here and do if error, 
around the top of it and again just hiding it and there we go fantastic no problems at all and of course if I now come up here copy this across everything will update and the totals will be shown now if this has been helpful please let me know in the comments below and if you use Excel and want to stay connected please consider liking, following, subscribing because I'm sharing new videos regularly and if you know someone who would benefit from this help please be sure to share this video with them. Hey thanks for watching and have a fabulous day.